crocodile and hippo are obviously two altogether different animals, but both spend most of their time in and around Africa's lakes and rivers, and hunting either or both is a highly specialized endeavor, and there are some similarities between them and also some things that are quite different. Properly called the, the Nile crocodile, the crocodile is widespread throughout Africa's lakes and, and river systems. In some areas, crocodiles were greatly reduced by market hunting for skins, but they remain common along most major waterways in Africa's hunting countries. Although not so large as the saltwater crocodile, the Nile crocodile can grow very large. A big crocodile is perhaps 12 feet in length, but lengths from 15 to 18 feet are possible. Length is one thing and girth is another, but such a crocodile can weigh an honest ton. Crocodiles are opportunistic feeders, eating fish and smaller crocodiles, and lying in wait near water's edge to catch animals that come to drink or venture near the water. Unlike the great cats, which only occasionally take human prey, all crocodiles of medium size and upward are potential man-eaters. Even today, losses to crocodiles are part of life for rural Africans. From a hunting perspective, the most important thing to understand about crocodiles is their reptiles. They're long-lived and slow-growing, but like all reptiles, crocodiles continue to grow throughout their lifetimes. So a big crocodile may be 70, 80, or possibly 90 years old. A big old crocodile has seen it all and has been hunted for many years. Few animals are as wary and difficult to stalk as a crocodile. Since the crocodile is a cold-blooded creature, they regulate their body temperature by alternating between water and air temperatures. At night, early morning, and late afternoon, when the air temperature is cool, they're usually in the water. On sunny days, common in the African winter, they'll usually haul out onto sandbars and islands to bask in the sun. This is the only time they're vulnerable to a stalk, but they can also be baited by meat securely anchored at water's edge. Like all reptiles, the crocodile has a very small walnut-sized brain and a slow nervous system. The crocodile is never far from its water sanctuary. With one sweep of its powerful tail, the crocodile can be in the water. Sometimes it's possible to take a crocodile in very shallow water, but even fatally hit crocodiles that reach moving current are almost impossible to recover. This means that the only viable shots are at the small brain or the spine, so that the crocodile is anchored where it's shot. The crocodile is thus not only extremely wary and hard to stalk, but it requires the most precise shot in the entire hunting world. Technically semi-aquatic, the hippopotamus is the second largest land animal after the elephant, and a big bull can weigh up to 4,000 pounds and more. Once extremely common throughout most of Africa's lakes and major rivers, the hippo offers a huge amount of meat and is relatively easy to poach. Regrettably, hippos are seriously depleted across much of Africa. They remain on license in several hunting countries, with quotas carefully managed and permits growing ever more scarce and costly. Hippos serve a major function in keeping waterways open, so serious long-term effects are likely in areas where hippos have been eradicated or seriously reduced. The hippo is a grazing herbivore. Although underwater plants are favorites, the hippo typically leaves the water at night to graze, often wandering miles from his water sanctuary. In the early morning, he returns and spends most of the day in the water. Hippos are actually sensitive to the sun. A hippo may occasionally be found sleeping in shaded bush in daylight hours, and on cloudy days, they may meander along the bank, but most of their daylight hours are spent in water. Hippos are social animals that join together in groups called pods usually with a dominant bull in the group. Determining males from females is extremely difficult and takes a lot of experience. In a group, sheer size is one indicator. The major tusks are the lower incisors, much larger in males than females. But when the mouth is closed, the teeth are invisible. However, these major tusks are covered by pockets in the upper lip. So a male hippo with large tusks will have prominent bumps on either side of the snout. Hippos found wandering alone on land or in small water holes in the bush are often males, but it takes careful study to be sure. Hippos are extremely aggressive, both on land and in water. In water, they'll defend their sanctuary, often attacking boats that come too close. On land, they'll charge readily. It's said that the hippo kills more Africans than all the other dangerous game combined. This may not be exactly true. The crocodile still exacts a fearsome toll. However, the hippo poses serious danger. In the morning, rural Africans often go to water, 
And this puts them on a collision course with hippos returning from their night grazing to their water sanctuary.